What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using Garchomp in the Series 13 rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you to all of my subscribers. We just recently passed 15,000 subscribers. That blows my mind. Again, huge thank you to everybody who support me as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Brian. Thank you so much for leaving this team over on my Twitter DMs. Cannot wait to rock out with it and grab you guys some wins. But if you guys want to send me rental codes, make sure you guys have the link in the description below to my Twitter page, Genius YouTube over on Twitter. Either DM me or just tweet me your guys' rental code. I would love to get my hands on your guys' team and potentially use them for a video. But with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Garchomp. It's got rough skin as its ability, alongside with that choice scarf so it can outspeed most Pokemon. It's got rock slide for coverage, EQ for stab, poison jab for coverage, and protect. Next Pokemon is going to be Zapdos, and Zapdos and Garchomp go hand in hand because you can actually lead them together or put them on the field at the same time. You can freely go into EQs without hitting your or ally Pokemon, and then with Zapdos, you can freely go into Discharge without hitting Garchomp. So they go hand in hand together. Maybe we'll show off that combo in today's video. But Zapdos over here has Pressure and a Life Orb as its item, and it's got Thunderbolt, Heat Wave, Discharge, and Detect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Zacian, the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. I really don't have to go over his uh, moves or his abilities because everything is fairly normal. You guys have seen this setup a thousand times. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Groudon with that lovely Assault Vest. It's got Sword Stance, it's got Rock Slide, it's got Fire Punch, it's got Precipice Blades. Then obviously the Drought is going to be his ability, so it can set the sun and grant some weather control for this team. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Calyrex, and I really do like this Calyrex uh, moveset right here. It's got will o and I just love having Calyrex with will o because it can outspeed most. Then putting burns on physical attackers is just a huge benefit, and it is a really, really good play. It's got Astral Barrage. It's got Psychic for two stab moves, Protect for its fourth move, and then it's holding the Focus Sash as its item. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Yveltal over here. Yveltal is just such a good Pokemon all around. This one has the weakness policy as the item, alongside with its normal ability, which is going to be Dark War. It's got Oblivion Wing, Snarl, Tailwind, and Sucker Punch for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 13 ladder and look to get some wins with this Garchomp team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a heavy meta team right here. He's got Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Zacian, Yveltal, Kyogre, Landers, and Amoongus over here. How do I think he's going to lead it? I think Shadow Rider, Calyrex, or Kyogre is going to be one of the leads. So I kind of want to lead maybe Zapdos here. I feel like Zapdos can be good, but our only problem with this Zapdos right here is it does not have an air move. So we cannot just max air stream and get speed control, which is kind of tough. I really, really wanted that. But um, hmm, I could go into Yveltal as a lead just in case he wants to roll into Shadow Rider, Calyrex. We can kind of just counter it up that way, or we can get off speed control with Tailwind. So I really do like Yveltal's lead, and I might just lead it with Zapdos. I kind of do dig that. I kind of dig it. I kind of like that. So I might just end up leading that. Do I want to do that? kind of do. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Yeah, I'm going to go Zapdos here. I am going to bring Groudon in the back end just for a bit of weather control. Plus, he does work on a few different Pokemon. And then last but not least, do I go Calyrex or do I go my Zacian? Hmm. I do like Calyrex. Calyrex is just super, super strong all around, but Zacian is also that guy. Zacian is also that guy. So I am going to bring in Zacian. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before the first battle starts, you guys have been a long time viewer. You guys know the deal. Question of the day. You guys got to answer before battle number one starts. And that is, will you guys be picking up Pikmin 4 when it comes out? I feel like the Pikmin series is an underrated series on the Nintendo uh, gaming systems. And I really do enjoy the Pikmin series. So when Pikmin 4 comes out, you guys best believe we're going to be doing a playthrough on the channel for that game. So if you guys haven't tried out Pikmin yet, definitely get your hands on it. I promise you guys, the games are incredible. They are absolutely incredible. But he's going to end up leading Yveltal alongside with Kyogre. And I could Dynamax and go into a Lightning, but I feel like he could hard swap. Ooh, I definitely have to Dynamax and go into a Lightning, but who is he going to hard swap? That's the real question. He could definitely hard swap into Landers here. It's definitely an option. I'm just going to Tailwind here. And I got a Dynamax. I have to Dynamax. I have to Dynamax. And I feel like he would hard swap Kai Ogre over anybody, right? I feel like he would Dynamax Kai Ogre over anybody. So I feel like we should just go straight after this Yveltal. Right? I feel like he would swap Kai Ogre for anybody. I'm going to Dynamax my Zapdos. 
That just might just be fastest on the field, but I'm hoping to get off this Tailwind too to grant speed control for the rest of the team. Maybe he'll protect the Kyogre. Kind of curious, but we're just hoping that he doesn't swap the Ebel Ball. So Zapdos getting that beautiful Dynamax. We love this Pokemon right here. Such a good Dynamax Pokemon too. Let's see how he actually plays this one. He's going to end up going for a Tailwind. So he gets off a Tailwind. Okay. We're going to get off a Tailwind too, but he's going to go first, which kind of sucks. And Water Spout's going to poke here, which both my Pokemon eat really, really well. And then Max Lightning should probably be able to take out this Pokemon, right? Just get rid of him. Get him out of here. Cool. The Life Orb Shot takes him out. We're going to Tailwind as well with our Pokemon. And we're just going to go from there. So it really depends who he brings out here. Hopefully, I mean, he's probably going to bring out somebody who's faster than my Zapdos, which is kind of tough. But hopefully it's Shadow Rider Caddox, because I would love it. Then I, at that point, I can just kind of just like go into a Sucker Punch and pose a throw that way. But we'll see what he wants to do here. So we're going to Tailwind, match his speed, and again, I'm hoping it's not Zacian. I'm hoping it's not Zacian, but we'll see. We shall see. But I think Maya Beltal should be able to outspeed that Kyogre. But we'll see if he goes into it, and it is Zacian, which is kind of tough. Kind of hurts the soul. So we know Zacian is fastest on the field. And I feel like at this point, we could go into a... Uh, an Oblivion Wing right into this Kyogre and just max guard ours, right? That's why I wish we had Airstream. That's exactly why I wish we had Airstream. But I feel like Zacian has to go after my my Zapdos, right? I feel like Zacian goes after my Zapdos. We guard it, and then uh, hopefully my Yveltal can outspeed that uh, Kyogre and we can get off some chip damage and get a little bit of HP back at the same time. But we'll see how this one plays. So there's my big old max guard. Show me his ass he's going after me. He is with that behemoth blade. So good block from us. Can you Veltal go first? He does. Okay, so solid play from us all around. We get off some value with this turn here. So if we didn't protect, we were just dead instantly. And this thing soaks all that. That thing could be a soul facet. I'm pretty sure it is a soul facet because he's just going to go for another spout. Right? He's just spouting again, aren't you? He's just going to straight up scald. Oh, so he straight up scalds me, and that's going to take me out all day. So he takes me out from there. Um, I feel like at this point, we have to go into... Do I change up weather or do I go into Zazzy? We have, we have options here. I feel like we just change up weather. It's one time speed. I want it all day. I'm going to change up weather and I'm going to save my Zazzy for the back end. Probably what I should have done last turn. Guard swap for weather and keep my Yveltal on the field. Because if, it, if he does have Shadow Rider Calyx in the back end, it could be tough. But he still has Dynamax as well. Gotta remember that. He still has Dynamax as well. But from here, I'm just going to drop a Blades, and I'm just going to go for a Lightning. I think that's just a simple play. I think it's a simple play. I'm just going to end up withdrawing Kyogre. Probably go into... Does he have Landorus? Or who's he going into here? It is going to be Landorus. Finally comes out. Smart play by him. He drops the Landorus, and he makes a great call there. Great call. I was worried about that Landorus the whole time. Except for this turn. And at the exact turn that I'm not worried about it, he catches me off guard. And he makes a good play. So he's going to end up blading. There was really no point for the swap. I mean, probably just for the intimidate and for the weather swap. And then he's going to Dynamax that Pokemon. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Can we get a crit onto the Zacian? Curious. That would be beautiful. Blade's going to fly here. Lander's going to dodge. And of course, of course, his Zacian dodges it. Of course, his Zacian. That one hurts. That hurts. So we know he's going to Dynamax the Landers all day. I am going to have to hit it with the blades. And we're going to have to go from there. But, dude, that hurts, man. That hurts the soul right there. That one hurts the soul. That one really does hurt. That might have just lost us the game. That one really hurts. We're going to go into another Blades here. And I'm just going to Behemoth Blade at the same time. Even though I think there's a chance that he might guard here. I just feel like going into the shot is probably our play. That hurts, man. That one hurts. The missed Precipice Blades on his ass. Team. Even though we're in minus one, I'm still doing a good chunk of damage all around. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul, but I wonder what he's going to do. He might even save his Dynamax here. He might save his Dynamax for the Kyogre, which probably would be the smart play, right? I think that would be the best play for him. If he saves his Dynamax for that Kyogre, he's going to win this battle. But if he doesn't, then I feel like we have, a, we have a fighting chance here. Then I feel like Jeans has a fighting chance here. Man, now I wish I would have just Swords Dance last turn. He ends up withdrawing, so he's going to change Weather back. I don't know if I like that play too much. Actually, maybe a little bit. I think he's just trying to get off some Intimidate value. He's going to end up drizzling out. And Zassian, who are you going after? Go after my Groudon, please. His Zassian outspeeds us. No bueno. Go double down to his Zassian. I know he does go after Groudon. That's, that's, that, we like that. We don't mind that. We do not mind that one bit. 
I'm gonna drop a behemoth blade here. Not gonna do too much damage, but still. I dig it. He's looking for that intimidate. He really is. The behemoth blade chipping up some nice damage. Groudon, can you get off some big damage here too? Blades comes out. Who's dodging this? Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Of course, Zassian dodges it. Dude, Zassian should be dead. The Zassian should be dead. That hurts, man, dude. The Zassian should be gone. Zassian should be dead. I cannot protect here. Um, I guess I'll go for Behemoth Blade. Oh my god, that hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. We're gonna hope Kyogre protects here. Two misses on the blade. The Zassian should be gone. The Zassian should be gone. He could hard swap into Yveltal, which I think... Well, not Yveltal, uh, Landorus, which I think might happen. But that's just a... It just hurts, man. That just hurts, losing to some RNG. This battle definitely would have been super, super close, and I'm really curious to see how it would have turned out. But two blades miss on the Zassian? Mm, no bueno. No bueno. I feel like he swaps here into... Into Lando. He does not. He's gonna go first. He's gonna Behemoth Blade me. Can we soak this up? He's going after my Groudon. He's finishing off my Groudon. Now you're gonna go after Zassian this turn. We're gonna go after Zassian. And he's gonna go next. Well, after. I think he's, he's definitely fashioning my ground on, right? It'd be beautiful if he's not. But we're gonna Behemoth Blade onto him. Deal some damage. And Groudon, can you go first or is that GG's? He's gonna scald me. He scald me. And that, that's gonna be game. But see you later. See you later, Groudon. So probably the play there would have been to take out the. I would have taken out the Kai Ogre. Then we could have picked up a potential double kill, but. Again, that Zassian should have been dead a long time ago. But battle number one is going to go to our opponents. I'm going to just run it. I'm going to keep my Zassian alive. But I'm promising you guys a victory in battle number two. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a victory like I promised you guys here in this battle. We're going up against a Ho-Oh team with Wimscott, Solgaleo, Kyogre, and then Thunderous and Halucha. Pretty cool team. I think we versed a similar team in the last game. So hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and get ripping with this. But uh, who should we lead and how should we play it? I mean, he does have the, uh, what is that? The Ho-Oh, and I believe this Groudon has a rock, which it does. So that's going to be very, very valuable to us. So I do definitely want to bring Groudon. I don't know if I want to lead it. I feel like leading Yveltal is going to be good for speed control. And then we kind of go from there. So I'm going to go Yveltal. I am going to go, I could go Garchomp. I don't know if I should go Garchomp. I just feel like Yveltal and maybe like a Calyrex could be good. Or maybe just Groudon, maybe potentially set up a Sword. I don't know, it really depends who he goes into. I feel like we're gonna go up rolling with them too. Bring Zassian and then Calyrex back in. We're just gonna go in with the Powerhouse Squad. Powerhouse Squad, because I promised you guys a victory in battle number two. So we're just gonna bring in every strong Pokemon and we're gonna win this battle clean. <laughs> but yeah, third battle, if I don't, if I don't, uh, I have to get out Garchomp in the third battle then. Right? Yeah, I definitely got Shipping. Garchomp, he's just very underwhelming in Sword and Shield. Very cool Pokemon, but a lot of Pokemon can just tear him up. He's gonna go Wimscott and Solgaleo, and hmm, he could Tailwind. Oh man, he could Trick Room too. He could indeed Trick Room. Do I Tailwind? I don't think I Tailwind. Because I remember facing this team, and this team really seems like it's a. Uh, this team really. Uh, we're, I figured out that uh, Wimscott can Trick Room. But I think I just go into a straight Oblivion Wing here. Bring that HP down. I'm just gonna go for a Sword Dance. Oh, we have Swords Dance. Oh my god, that's what I thought. I was like, how do you put this move on this Pokemon? But we can't even use this because we are so good. But I think it's just there for a max guard. That's what I think it's there for. And I'm not even going to drop Blades. I'm just going to double down into Wimscott. I'm just going to double down into Wimscott because I feel like the Solgaleo can protect. Yep, there's Protect from Solgaleo. I think he's going to try to pop a Trick Room. And we're just going to... No, we're just going to straight up Tailwind. Wow, we could have Tailwind that turn. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that turn. So we'll try Tailwind with our Yveltal next turn. We're going to finish off this Wimscott. It's probably Sash, right? Yes, it is Sash, but we get rid of it. Okay, okay so we definitely need Tailwind. I could guard Groudon. I'm really curious to see what the Silver Lane could be going for. But maybe he thought I was guarding and I was going to go for a Quake, so he just wants to uh, eat it up and proc the policy. I don't mind where we're sitting right now. I really don't. Silver Lane is going to be a problem. He's definitely going to Dynamax it, right? Makes a lot of sense, but Halucha's gonna come out here. Halucha, really cool Pokemon. I like Halucha. And I feel like he can proc policy, so at this point, I'm just gonna set up the Tailwind. I'm thinking I'm just Dynamaxing this guy and dropping a Quake or getting a Rock Ball. I could Flare Tear as well. Hmm, what do I wanna do here? I could just straight up Oblivion Wing, but I feel like we need, we need to match speed. We need to match speed, so I am gonna go for Tailwind. Do I Quake into that thing? 
Or do I just straight up flare in a Halucha? I feel like we can take out Halucha here with a flare. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Shiny Halucha is sick though. Look at him. His colors are really, really good. So he's gonna end up Dynamaxing the Sogaleo here. I wonder what Halucha's doing. I feel like Halucha's there to proc a policy, right? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Halucha could be that Pokemon to proc the policy. But we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. I'm gonna hope that we get off this Ash is speeding. I am going to Dynamax this, this beefy boy right here. Lovely little growl. I was wondering why we had Sword Dance at first. I was just like, wait, we're Soul Fest and I don't think we can use it. But it makes sense that it's there for, for, for uh, max guard purposes. All day, baby. And can you max guard? Yeah, you should be able to max guard with the Soul Fest Pokemon. I don't know if you can. I'm kind of curious, but I don't want to try it. I do not want to try it. He's going to coach. Oh, it's a coaching Halucha. It's a coaching Halucha. So he's going to coach up. He is going to go first, and he's going after. He's going to take out my Yvelt. How dare you? Can you eat this up, Yvelt, please? Thank you. No, you don't. Mm, hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. He's going to get a super effective shot onto me. And I'm going to have to bring out my lovely little... My, what is it? What is that Pokemon? My Shadow Rider. Or I can save my Shadow Rider. Well, I'm just going to fly here. I think this should be able to take out Halusha, right? It doesn't. That hurts the soul, man. Of course, it has a barrel. Let's rip him with a berry. We should have shot the rock. I really didn't want to want to change, but it's just gonna boost speed. Um, I could go into Zassian and protect here. It'll be my play because I'm kind of just trying to waste out Tailwind turns at this point. Right, makes a lot of sense. He went to a lightning, so he didn't really get that much uh, benefit out of this. And I feel like he just goes for it. Right, I feel like he just coaches at this point. The Zassian's gonna come come out here. How many turns left in Dynamax? Two turns left in Dynamax. Two turns left in Tailwind. Two turns left in Tailwind. So I could protect. Could indeed protect. Hmm. Which I am going to do. Could protect. Protect you and... Do I Rockfall? Do I Rockfall just to get rid of the Holucha? I really don't want to set that weather. That's my problem. I don't want to set that weather. I'm going to take out Holucha with another... I don't want to change the weather because I have Focus Ash on my Shadow Rider. So changing that weather could be rough for us. So I'm just going to do this. So he's going to end up coaching. I think he's going to go for a Quake into my... My Zassian, right? Are you quaking into my Zassian? Go for a Steel Spike. That looks like it's going into Zassian, right? Yeah. But he's going to grant Defense Boost. My Zassian's going to be able to eat. And I don't know if I should go for... Like, it's a crit. I don't know if I should go for Double Protect. Might have to be my play to go for double protect. You have to waste out this last turn of Tailwind. You have to. It's an absolute must for us. It's an absolute must because I need my Shadow Rider to come out here and uh, do some work on Soul Leo. We need it. We need it. So I might go for double protect. But I feel like regardless if we land it or not, he's dead if he doesn't land it. Oh, he's going to come out here, which I'm just going to drop a rock into. I feel like I have to drop a rock into this Pokemon. Four times super effective. We got to roll into it. I'm just going to go for double protect here. Dropping a full blown rock. I'm fine with the weather at this point. I got to get rid of the ho oh That seems to go for double protect. It does not land, which hurts the soul. And he's going to steal spike taking out. Okay. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. He was dead. He was dead regardless. Like if I, I didn't land it, that soul Galeo's outspeed me all day. And he's just taking me out. So defense boost is going to come out for the ho oh That's totally fine. This ho oh is dead. Considering this rock move is going to be four times super effective. And my Shadow Rider. Wow, unless he burns me here. Please don't burn me. Okay, it doesn't burn me. Awesome. He is Orb too, but he's dead. The so Shadow Rider comes out here. Hmm, Buffets can do me so dirty. Buffets can do me so dirty. But this dude's boosted on defense like crazy. He's like plus four. Maybe plus five. I think he's plus four on defense. Man, I wish I could change up this weather. Anyone's going to peter out and get after it. So let's go Shadow Rider. Get on out here. I could throw a burn on this thing, but I got to get off as much damage as possible. So we waste out the Tailwind turns. We're playing it nice and slow. We still have Groudon, and Sokaleo does not have a double-heading move, which is really, really good for us. It's really good for us, because I'm kind of curious to see how much damage this uh, Persepolis Blades can actually do. I'm curious. I am very curious. All right, let's make this happen. So we're gonna drop an Astrobot, super effective. He has no special defense boost, and Blaze is gonna come through here. But before I actually send the Blades, I want to see how much this thing's boosted. Yeah, plus four. That is that is no bueno. No good. No good. So I'm just gonna pop this. 
We're going to roll out from here. Let's get it. Astro Blast going to fly. How much damage can this do? I don't think this can KO, but this can do a ridiculous amount of damage. Can it just straight up KO? Oh, it does. Beautiful. Awesome. So we wasted up the Tailwind turns. We bring out Shatter by the Calyrex, and it just dumps on this thing. One shot, no problem. Final battle coming at you guys, and I promise you guys a victory in battle number two, and your boy prevailed. But I also promise you guys I'm going to showcase Garchomp in battle number three. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But we're going up against a really cool team. Vanellux? Love that Pokemon. And then he has Yveltal, Shadow Rider Calyx, Eternatus, Rillaboom, and last but not least, he is rocking out with Grimstrong. So my only problem with uh, Rillaboom would be that Grassy Terrain kind of keep me from using EQs, but I feel like going into these two Pokemon, or I can even set up a Tailwind here. Again, speed's going to be huge. <clears throat> and I don't know who he's going to go into. We could go into Vanellix for a lead. Lovely Vanellix. Does Camp Vanellix set Hail? Does he have an ability to set Hail? I do not know, but again, speed is going to be a huge factor, so I'm going to lead Yveltha. But I do like Yveltha anyway, just does a lot of work, but I'm going to go Garchomp, I'm going to go Yveltha, and I'm going to bring Zacian and my Shadow Rider. Make life easier for us. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's get Garchomp rolling here in battle number three. Hopefully I can pick up some KOs. If he leads Roll Boom, we could Poison Jab. If he leads, say, uh, Eternatus, we can EQ straight into it. We just have a lot of different options with, uh, with uh, Garchomp. Vanellix. We can do some work onto him as well. Again, we have a lot of different options. Let's see what he ends up bleeding. Vanellix and Grimstone. We can set up screens. Um, I don't know what Vanellix is doing here. I really don't know, but Vanellix can do some work on him, and I'm kind of scared of that Pokemon. I might have to Dynamax Yveltal just for his purpose. I might have to Dynamax Yveltal. I might have to double down into it. But I can Rock Slide. I can EQ. I can Poison Jab. Let's just drop a Rock Slide. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, no. We're just gonna double down to Vanellix this way. I'm scared of this Vanellix. He's looking real scary. A Blizzard will do work on me. We're gonna pop an EQ with that lovely, lovely Choice Scarf. Chip up some damage on a Vanellix, and I believe an Oblivion Wind can take out you. That's some nice damage there. No, he gets off the Blizzard. Garchomp's dead. Yveltal eats. Mmm. <clears throat> Hurts the soul. I do have weakness policy, though. Garchomp's gone. Dude, I thought my Yveltal can outspeed. I thought he can outspeed. Should be able to outspeed this Grimstrong, which we do. He's probably going to go for a Spirit Break, but we are going to get some HP back, which is beautiful. But Vanellix is gone. Mmm, that hurts. That hurts, man. I get a crit. I think it was dead regardless. We were weak as policy boost it. We're going to get HP back. We're going to go to 136. And can we soak up a Spirit Break? He's got to be going for a Spirit Break, right? Yeah, Spirit Break coming in hot. Soak this up, please. No, you do not. Wow, we are getting ripped on right now. We are getting ripped on. He has no screens up, which is good. I do like that. He's probably going to maybe set up one this turn. And I have to Dynamax Calyrex. So, Calyrex, let's get you Dynamax. Let's get you Dynamax. But, dude, my Garchomp was going to be able to roll out strong. I really did think my Yveltal can outspeed an Ice Cream Cone. <laughs> Hurts the soul. But here comes Eternatus. Dynamax Cannon is scary, but he's not going to Dynamax uh, that Pokemon. I can just straight up blade into uh, Grimstarl if, if he sets up the Reflect, we still pick up the KO. And then I feel like we just Dynamax and we start going for, uh, for what's it called. Or I could just stay in here and get a plus one attack boost, which I think I'm going to do. So I know that, I know my Pokemon outspeed him. Astro Barrage, mm, it's not going to take out the Grimstarl, that's the problem. But a Mindstorm could do some damage. I'm gonna mindstorm straight into this thing, set the terrain here, and then I'm just gonna straight up Behemoth Blade right into this. That's what I'm gonna do. Because we know Eternatus cannot Dynamax, which is huge for us. So I think we can take him out with one shot here, get a Grim Nade boost, and kind of roll from there. But the thing is, he can set up a screen, and I'm kind of hoping he sets up a Reflect over a Light Screen because I know my uh, Zacian can take out the Grim Snarl even through a Reflect. We'll see what he wants to do here. And if he doesn't have Robeam in the back end, we can keep this train, which could be really good for us. Be really good for us. And he goes for a Sucker Punch. Ugh! Ugh! Sucker Punch. Oh, that hurts. The big fat Sucker Punch. Mindstorm comes through here. Should be able to KO. Yep, KO is no problem. He has no screens. He has zero screens. This battle is going by fast. It is definitely going by fast. We go plus one boost, which is enormous. And they cannot use first turn priority moves anymore, which is even bigger for us. Buffets are a problem. That little hail is a problem. But no screens are up. 
And they cannot use first turn priority moves. So I know my Calyrex is going to get off a turn. Unless, did he have Calyrex on his team? I totally forget. I totally forget. But there we go. Dump on Grimstorm. He's gone. And the buffets are coming out here. How many more buffets can you survive? Two more. You can survive two more, which is which is solid. I'll take that. I will take that. But yeah, our guard chomp and our Yvelta just got ripped on. I was just like, come on. Now I got a Dynamax's Pokemon. But he's going to end up going into Yvelta, who he might Dynamax. Oh, wait. That's your final Pokemon? Wait a minute. Who did we KO? Vanellox. Okay. We have no effect. And I mean, we can drop defense, which is really good. And we actually might be able to win this game. What would do more? Play rough or Blade? Blade will actually do more. He Dynamaxes it. Is that defense drop? I think we just won this game. I think we just won. I really do. It's going to be a not very effective shot, but it lowers defense. Behemoth Blade is going to do a crazy amount of damage with that defense drop. I think we just won this game. Because Behemoth Blade does more to a Dynamax Yveltal than Play Rough. Uh, yeah, I think we just won. I think that your boy just won. Phantasm comes out here. Phantasm should be able to do a nice little chunk still. Yep, not bad, but the defense drop is what makes it. And now we're plus one on attack. That thing's minus one on defense. And this Behemoth Blade should just rip right through it. Like I've been saying, Zacian's too strong. He's too OP. And just watch this. See you later, you Beltal. Get it on out of here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and one for today's video. We grab ourselves a nice winning record. And that last battle just went by so fast. The Garchomp team grabs ourselves a winning record. I feel like I've been playing so good in Sword and Shield as of recently, grabbing either perfect records or winning record in the most recent videos. But yo, Garchomp was definitely so much fun to use. Wish he wouldn't have died early on in that battle number three, but it is what it is. I really did think Yveltal can outspeed, but I don't really know the ice cream speed considering I don't use it too much and I don't really get to see it too much on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.